Miss Tabitha, thank you for being here tonight. This is a fine Sunday night crowd. Appreciate you being in the house. And trust you're planning for the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the meeting is history. But we'll have a great time each and every service. Hey, if you're glad for two men who got saved this morning, say amen. amen. If you're not, you probably need what they got. Because when you get it, you want somebody else to have it. If it's good enough to have, you want somebody else to have it. And so you tell as many people as you can so they can get it and not get over it by the good grace of God. Take your Bible tonight, please, and go to the book of Psalms, chapter number 51. Psalms, chapter number 51. A reminder that on Wednesday night, I'll be preaching on Bible prophecy. We'll take a look at a future event. It'll involve Jesus Christ and many of us, and you will not want to miss that time. How many of you have unsaved relatives, and they live within two hours of Asheville? Would you raise your hand real high if you got unsaved relatives? Many of you like that. Invite them. Ask them to come and be with you and be a part of the service. They can be a part of the singing. They can be a part of every aspect that is going on. Is there a children's service at night? No children's service at night. It went wrong. You healed that thing. Not bad. All you did was look at it. Don't look up here, sir. Just look back yonder. That'll be just fine. All right, let's all stand, please, for the reading and teaching of the Word of God. I'm in Psalm chapter number 51, and I'm in verse 1. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Okay. All right, we'll go from here just like it is, and if it goes wrong again, I'll just take it off and scream, amen. All right, Psalm chapter 51 and verse 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, my sins ever before me. Against thee and thee only have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice." Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Crane in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit.